Hello, Panda YouTube. Welcome to today's video. It's about me. It's all about me. For, finally, right? Finally, you don't get to see enough of me on this channel. Well, don't worry. Today is going to be something very special. I, in my infinite wisdom, gathered three friends of mine here on Panda. Dr. Allen, Little Z, and Mars. And I asked them, hey, would you like to answer questions about me? And they, at first they said no. But then eventually they're like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Although these three are my very good friends, I don't know how much they actually know about me because I am an international man of mystery. So let's find out how much they were able to glean from the little bits and pieces that I leave out there for you guys to chew up on. Let's see what they know about Coney. Honestly, in the last year, I think Coney and I have become pretty good friends. Uh, so I'm very excited to uh, get exposed as a fraud by this quiz. I met Coney for like... A week when he came to Australia, when we flew him over to Australia for Big Win cha Championships. Other than that, I've just seen him commentate a lot. Uh, Coney and I have not spent that much time together, so not that well. Out of ten, I'd say two. Question the first. How old am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, he was around for Brawl, uh, so he's obviously over, like, what, 25? Ancient. Ancient. Uh, he's married, has a kid, so I hope he's over 25. Uh, we'll say... Uh, the old lad is 28. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Oh, you know what this is? This is like when you're like, you're 12 and you think like 25 is decrepit. Like he's just so young. He has no concept of time. That's all this is. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not 28, not even close. Oh God. I know he's old. He's a boomer. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I think he's like, I'm going to go with 34. Relax. Relax. 34? I don't think you could turn 34 in Smash. I think you poof into dust or like have an esports job. That's not real. No, I'm not 34. That's embarrassing. How dare you? You know, he's told me this, uh, and I think for contractual purposes, I might have his date of birth somewhere, uh, <laughs> but I'm terrible at this. And he's, I know, I'm pretty sure he's late 20s, early 30s. I'm going to say like 31, actually. Oh, he's so close. I'm hurt. You guys don't know this? What kind of friends are you? I'm 32. I'm 32. I was born in 88. I'll be 33 in September. That's so cringe. The next question is actually for you. Are you subscribed to Panda Global? I've got another question. Did you know that we put out videos every single day? I have another question. Did you know that you can find all of your favorite pandas and content creators right here on the Panda channel? You better subscribe now. Do it quick. Hit the button. Question the second. Who was my first Smash main? He strikes me. As a okay. king day to day in Brawl. Just so you know, Samurai Panda over there is cheating. He was around for Brawl. We didn't interact at all, but he knows who I play. And that wasn't my first main because I played somebody else when I first went to tournaments. So hmm, you still got it wrong. Oh, first main. I knew he played Wario and D2D &D in Brawl. Mm. I don't know which was first. It was probably something in Melee or 64 because he's so old. <laughs> uh, let's go with a 64 main. I reckon it would have been... Donkey Kong. Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. I could see why you would go with that, but unfortunately you're wrong even with the 64. Oh man. I know he played Wario at some point. That is the, for Damn. For the oldest Cody I know, I know he played Wario like in uh, Brawl. So man. I was like Wario. Yeah, they're really stuck on this Wario thing. I played Wario in Brawl, but it was more in the other Brawl. If you know what I'm saying. So, I, I, there are a few answers to this, and I was going to let them pick any of them. I guess DDD kind of counts, because DDD was my first, like, tournament real main, but he wasn't my first main that I went to tournaments with, okay? So, my first casual main ever was in 64. I played NES, and yeah, I'm really old, so I played a lot of NES when I was, like, that game came out when I was, like, 12 or something. Then in Melee, I was a Puff player, playing very casually with items. In Brawl, I went competitive, and I actually started as a Lucas player, which is incredibly cringe, I know. Uh, but I played Lucas for a little while, and then my friend pointed out to me, he's like, Hey, you lose to us with Lucas sometimes, but you never lose with DDD. And I was like, 
Oh yeah, you're right. So I entered competitive as DDD. So I guess that kind of counts. I'm only gonna give Alan half a point for that, by the way. Cause that, if I get to choose that. Cause he's right, but not really. So yeah, sort of, kind of. Question three. On a scale of one to 10, how do you think I would rate my own singing voice? 10, yeah, 10, definitely a 10. And I would agree with him too. That, that's, that's, that, you know, I, I don't know how to take this. I, I guess there's only way I, I can take it. It's, it's more of a, of a shot at my perception or his perception of my perception of myself. Isn't that crazy? The things that we learn when we think nobody's listening, Mars. Jeez, come on. I feel like Coney likes to be a bit cocky, you know? Likes to talk himself up. I think he he thinks he's a good singer. I don't know if other people do. I reckon he would say, a scale of one to 10, six. No, seven. Seven. Coney thinks he's a seven. He's probably seven a is, four. Oh, where are, these guys are supposed to be my friends. Where is the, co where is, the, where are my friends here? You're supposed to gas me up. You knew I was gonna be watching this. You knew I'd be reviewing the footage. Why would you do this to me? How good would Connie? Connie's Connie is a shockingly humble man. Uh, he, he let's does go. Not, uh, brag about himself or, yeah. or you know how good he actually is at doing. He's things. right. Uh, so how good is he actually at singing? Probably surprisingly slightly above average. But he would rate <laughs> himself really low. So I think he would give himself like a two. <laughs> you see the difference here. You see the difference? Alan said at the beginning that we've grown very close. Little Z and Mars, they don't know shit about me. And that's why they think that I would have a high rating. You want to know the actual answer? I can't sing for shit. No, I hate it. I don't even like singing. It's probably like a three or a four. It, I, can, I can carry a tune. I can't. I can carry a tune, but uh, it's very difficult for me, and sometimes it jumps out of my hands. So I'm not a singer. Sorry. Question four, how many foreign countries have I visited? I'm gonna say he's been to, let's say five or six countries. <laughs> America, Canada, um, Mexico, Australia, oh, man. Uh, and then just somewhere in Europe. Alan really thinks I'm booking gigs. He really thinks I'm Mr. Worldwide. Oh man, okay. That's very sweet of him. That's very sweet of him, okay. Australia. Ah, uh, probably been to Mexico because it's so close to America. Probably been to Canada, same reason. Uh, France. You know what? Th there's too many. I reckon he's been to a lot. I'm gonna say 17. S 17 countries. That's like a third of all countries on the planet. That's insane. None. I don't think he's traveled that much. I think we've had this conversation. Like, yeah, I don't think he's tra uh, traveled to any foreign countries. Ooh, you know what? He was close. Mars, you were close on that one. The answer is, uh, it's one. It's one. I went to Australia. That's literally it. I've, I actually, I had the chance to go to one more. Um, I, I've got, uh, an opportunity to go to Japan. It was a week before my daughter was born. And, uh... I was like, no, I can't do it. You know, I, I'm about to have my, my little baby girl. I want to be here for that. And they were like, okay, that's great. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have you signed up for 2020. You remember what happened in 2020? I never got to go to Japan. Number five, what's my favorite animal buddy to get in Donkey Kong Country? The dolphin. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. The swordfish, not the dolphin. I'm pretty sure. Because I, I don't think he likes the rhino. But the rhino is a good time. Nope, I hate the water, but nice guess, I guess. Ungard's kind of fun. I'm kind of mad that he said it was a dolphin, but I guess he knew the other animals, so that's not... He knows something about the game. Okay. I reckon he's a rhino guy. Also, I can probably remember, like, two animals from Donkey Kong Country, and I'm thinking rhino. I could see him just enjoying the lumbering nature of whatever the large mammal was. I think it was a rhino? I think it was a rhino. Might have been an elephant. I, it's been a while, but whatever the largest mammal is that you could ride, I could see him enjoying that. Once again, he knows me the best. You see this? He knows I'm not a fish guy, unlike Mars. They know the classics are where I like to go. I'm a Rambi fan. I love Rambi. He just boulders through everybody and he can break walls. He's pretty cool, but a big shout out to Ellie, 
the elephant, who I think was in three, and I liked three. Everybody hates three, but three's actually pretty good. But no, it's Rambi. It's Rambi by a, by a mile. Rambi, he's the best. He rules. On an average day, what percentage of the day do you think I'm wearing a hat on my head? If you had to guess. I think most people would say 90%. Like, he gets out of bed, he puts the hat on, he's probably wearing the hat when he showers. Uh, you know, that's, that's what the Coney fans would think. Mm. But, but, I think he pretty much wears it for stream and whenever he's going out and whenever he's seen by humans outside of his little human <laughs> um, and his partner human. So I would say maybe a good 40% of the day. Oh, he wears a hat all the time. <laughs> Way too much. I would say 80% on any given day. Wait, does this include sleeping? Because everyone sleeps for like a third of the day. I love that Alan is nailing it and then it's just, oh yeah, all the time. If Mars says 80 to 90%, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust a gut. I'm gonna lose it. I don't, does he wear hats? He definitely does. I've seen him wear a hat. Uh, probably only when he's like streaming. Know. So like 20, 30%. Say, say, we'll give it a generous like 35%. Okay, yeah. No, that sounds about right, and that is kind of generous. I would say roughly, mm, maybe like a 30? Yeah. No, Alan's right. It's if I'm to be seen by human eyes, sometimes I'll throw on a nice little decorative hat. And it's not because I'm bald, just to be clear. You see this? I have a lovely fine head of hair. I just think hats are fun and colorful, and I like to wear them. Question number seven. What was my first job? He looks like he's been a, uh, a man changed by retail. <laughs> They've seen the worst of humanity by working retail or food service or customer service, whatever. Sure. What do you mean you can see that? You know what? Mars is not wrong about the retail thing. I think everybody should work retail at some point in their lives so you can understand the depths of human depravity. Um, but that wasn't my first job. His, I reckon he was flipping burgers somewhere. There it is. There it is. Um, Except I don't know American I don't know American restaurants very much. I'm gonna say They're the same like a Wendy's. as Wendy's. Coney's first job was in a Wendy's. I'm pretty sure that was EE's first job, actually. Yeah. So you're close, but not quite. No, I've never worked in fast food. By the way, we have the same fast food you do, and we have the same restaurants. I would say it's something in acting. My first job, if you can believe it, my first job ever, I was an ice cream boy. I worked at Cold Stone Creamery. I was 14 years old and I did not have a permit, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but I really wanted to make money so that I could buy things. Question number eight. I've had a long and illustrious career in the theater scene. Can you name just one play I've ever been in, ever? Oh, absolutely not. No, mm -mm. no, I can't do that. <laughs> I, I just don't, there's like, for one, I like musicals more than the traditional plays, uh, so... That's you know, cringe! I, I've, I'm just gonna say Romeo and Juliet, because, uh, who hasn't been in Romeo and Juliet? Me! I haven't been in Romeo and Juliet. Also, musicals are cringe. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys into a little secret. Our, our boss, Alan, loves Hamilton. What a weirdo, right? Jesus. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for a wild curveball and say Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, no, I've never been in Fiddler on the Roof. But that's a good guess. There's a lot of young male parts in that show. So you accidentally stumbled upon something that I might have been in if I did musicals and didn't respect myself, but not quite. Phantom of the Opera, because it's like the only play I know. Oh, is that musical? Oh, uh, Julius Caesar. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we had a team of Philistines. These guys don't know the art at all. No. You can't even say, like, death of a salesman or, like, cat on a hot tin roof, you know? Just throw out something. I just can't... Not even... At least Alan threw out Romeo and Juliet. He was wrong. But at least he knows something. No, I've been in a lot. I've been in a lot. None of those. Number nine. What would I say is the single greatest video game of all time? And hey, if you're in the comments, you can guess this too. Leave a comment saying what you think is the single greatest video game of all time. And if I like your answer, I'm going to reply to it. I probably won't like your answer. I'm much older than you. Oh, uh, yes, he's got boomer opinions, even though he yeah. hasn't played a lot of old games. Huh? What is the single greatest video played a game bunch of old all games. time? He's, he's, it's a Super Mario game. It's got to <laughs> be. 
Super Mario 2. Everyone loves that one. He's kind of close. Super Mario World 2 is one of my favorites. That's Yoshi's Island. That game is dope. That game is a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. But Mario 2? No, that game's not great. Wario Land 3. And if he didn't put that, he's wrong. Because he knows himself that it's Wario Land 3. Deep down. <laughs> Wario Land 3 is okay. I think it has to be a Smash game because that's really, you know, where his roots were uh, in the the larger community. The easy answer, the safe answer is Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube uh, as it launched so many different careers and, and, and passions for gaming. Um, or Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby. Oh my god. Oh, I haven't even beaten that yet. No, Smash is cringe. No. It's not Smash. There are four perfect video games. I would have accepted any of these, okay? Streets of Rage 2, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Yoshi's Island, and Bloodborne. Those are four 10 out of 10s. I would have accepted any of those. I've got a lot that I like, and if any of you got close, I might have given you the point. You were way off. I played Wario Land 3, like, once on my advance. Why do you like that game, Z? It wasn't that good. That's so weird. Question 10. When I was in first grade, what do you think I wanted to grow up to be? I bet he dreamed big. I, I bet I could see Coney as one of those, like, I'm going to be an astronaut, kids. You're wrong, but that's very cute. Yeah. No, I was never, I never wanted to be a public servant, but I appreciate the thought. Thank you. I think he definitely would have wanted to be a commentator for Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> That's what every little kid dreams True. of. True, in first no, grade. No, no, no. But serious answer, he'd probably want to have a real job. Like, maybe... Um, I'm going to say astronaut. You know what's funny? I only wanted to be an astronaut after I was an adult. I was like 26, and I was like, damn, I could have been an astronaut. I, ra I found out late. So everybody's saying this now. I'm like, damn, I should have tried when I was six. That would have been good. <laughs> is it messed up to say he doesn't look like he has very big aspirations? At least, like, what? That's so as a strange. kid, he probably wouldn't say that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let's. T How do they have totally and different And now to reads? talk my way out of this, he wanted to be a professional sports baller. Athlete. Come on, look at me. You think I wanted to be? I actually did want to play baseball for a little bit, but no. Okay, there are a few things that I wanted to be. But I think the first one ever was I wanted to be a manager in the WWF. Not a wrestler, a manager, the guy that talks shit. I wanted to be that guy. And then over the years, I wanted to be like a radio DJ and uh, some other stuff. I wanted to play video games for a living, so kind of did that, Pog. Uh... But those were sort of the, the early first things. I've been commentating for years and years, but what do you think is my favorite commentary moment ever? It had to be commentating Evo Grands of the, the most popular Evo for Smash Ultimate. What about that one time he said, nice back air? <laughs> no, it's, it has to be when they threw the tie up and it landed on his head. That, that's my favorite Kony moment. And just his face there, that's gotta be his favorite moment, I reckon. TK there it is tosses there it is. his yep. tie it and it lands right on Coney's head like a headband it was the most it has nothing to do with commentary <laughs> or the game itself it was just an incredible moment that was caught on camera went viral for all the right reasons and to this day uh, remains one of my favorite Coney moments why don't you take off your tie E why don't you take it off I want to see your technique. That is, that's a good one. The tie headband moment was especially special for me personally too, because uh, me, TK, and EE, who have been commentating forever, finally got a chance to do a TriCast at an event, and we killed it. And that was like the, that was the punctuation mark at the end of the night. It was amazing. And it felt really good for me personally, because I came into commentary a little bit later, uh, with those two sort of holding down Xanadu and I was like, hey, I want to hop on with you guys and People hated us hated me at first because I wasn't the normal people and then you know Eventually they got used to me and then eventually I was able to get to top eight and being able to do it with two of my You know best friends doing that. That was amazing um, But it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite my actual favorite uh, Mars is right about this 
is actually casting Evo 2019 Grands because it felt like a big sort of like passing me the reins, passing me the stick to the end of the show. It was the biggest Smash tournament ever, has millions of views on YouTube. Um, we got to close out Evo, which is something that I didn't know a Smash game would ever do, you know? Like, I, I think we may have done it the year, a few years ago with Smash 4, but, like, it's not a common thing. And to be able to close out Evo um, and, and cast some of the best sets ever, like, that top eight still is just... I mean, it, Leo Tweak is a set that will stay in history forever. Um, being the voice on that meant a lot to me. Question 12, the final question. Can Kony tap dance? The answer may surprise you. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm shocked this is even a question. <laughs> Why would that be a question if he couldn't? The man <laughs> knows how to tap dance. He's been in musicals. He's singing. The, he's got to have some tap dancing under his belt. Final answer. No. He may be a theater. He may be a theater dude, but every time I walked into the the hotel room, he was just glued <laughs> to the bed doing commentator big big boy business things. Doesn't strike me as a tap dancer or even remotely interested in it. Yeah, no, he's right. I have zero interest, and I've never done it, and I never will. No, you fell for it. Yeah, so those two fell for it. Mars, he's right on the money. I've never done it. No, I wouldn't even know where to start. It looks hard, man. I've noticed that these guys don't know absolutely anything about me. And that's exactly how I like it. I like to keep you guessing. You never know what I'll do next. Maybe I'll take up tap dancing and I'll make myself a liar in three months. I don't know. I could do anything at any time. And to keep up with it, you better subscribe to the channel to find out all of my antics over the next few... I don't know how I was going to end this.